Hey man, have you seen... Dude, you know I can see you, right? No, you can't. You're eating my Oreos. No, I'm not. One thing that I've always found kind of funny is how invisible people or creatures in movies are almost never actually invisible. There's always some sort of outline, displacement, or color variation to indicate where said invisible person or creature is. It's an effect that I've always loved, and so I figured, let's see if we can figure it out. Turns out it's not actually that difficult. To pull off this effect, you'll need just two pieces of footage, one of whatever you're turning invisible against a green or blue screen and some sort of clean plate. In this case, I put myself in front of the green screen and I used a shot of my living room as the clean plate. Once you have your footage, bring them into DaVinci Resolve and in your timeline, place your clean plate on track one and your green screen footage on track two. Then select the green screen clip, hold alt and drag a copy of that clip onto video three. Then create a fusion clip by selecting all three pieces of footage, right clicking and selecting new fusion clip. Now head to the fusion page. Before we jump into the composition, let's take a look at the tools in Fusion that we'll be using to make this effect. Those tools are Displace, Prism Blur, Delta Keyer, a Polygon, and Matte Control. The first step in Fusion is to get organized by labeling media in one as plate, media in two as green screen, and media in three as matte. Now delete any merge nodes in the composition since we won't need them. Next, connect your plate node to media out one, select your plate node, hit shift space on your keyboard and type DSP in the search box. Select the displace tool and click add. This will add a displace node in between the plate and media out one. Next, connect your green screen node to the foreground input of the displace node. Then select your green screen node, hit shift space and type DK in the search box. Select the delta here and hit add. This will add the delta here in between your green screen node and your displace node. Our next step is to create a garbage mat around our green screen subject. But before we do that, if you have an effect you'd like me to try and recreate on this channel, let me know in the comments and on the way down there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Back to Resolve. To add a garbage mat, click anywhere in the node area to deselect all of the nodes. Then in the toolbar, select the polygon tool. Connect the polygon tool to the garbage mat input of your delta keyer and draw a shape around your subject. Then go into the inspector and check the invert box. The next step is to remove the green screen. To do this, select your delta keyer node. Then in the inspector, grab the eyedropper next to the background color selector and drag it over the green screen. If your green screen was evenly lit, then most, if not all, of the green screen will disappear. And if it wasn't, well, that's a topic for another tutorial. Now that our green screen is gone, it's time to tweak our displace node to get the look that we want. First, select the displace node, then in the inspector, crank your refraction strength up to two and your light power up to about 1.025. Then play around with the light angle until you're happy with the look. Looking at our results so far, we can see that we've made our subject invisible, but he's still a little too hard to see. Which, yes, I know that's the point of being invisible, but remember, we're going for movie invisibility, not real invisibility. To fix this, we'll use a prism blur node to create an RGB effect so the light looks like it's refracting when it passes through the invisible subject. Back in Fusion, select your Displace node, then hit Shift Space on your keyboard, then in the search bar, type Prism, select the Prism Blur tool, and click Add. We've now added a prism blur effect to our composition, but it's currently affecting our entire shot. We're gonna fix this using a mat, but first let's take a break to thank the sponsor of today's video, ArtGrid. I've talked about ArtGrid a ton on this channel. It's where I get all of the stock footage that I use across all of my projects. They've got a huge selection of high quality footage shot by real filmmakers, and it's one of the only stock footage sites out there that give you access to the raw and log versions of that footage, making it super easy to add to existing projects. And of course, you can't forget about ArtGrid's unlimited license, which allows you to use their footage across social media, YouTube, and 
any professional projects you might have. ArcGrid will be linked below if you want to check them out. And if you sign up using that link, you'll also get two free months on top of your annual subscription. Thanks so much to ArcGrid for sponsoring this video and for continuing to support creators like me. Let's get back to work. Back in Fusion, select your Delta Keyer node and hit Control C to copy that node. Then select your node labeled Matt and hit Control V to paste a new Delta Keyer node with the same settings as the first node. Then we'll select our Polygon node, copy it and paste it to the new Delta Keyer node. This will connect the new Polygon to the effect mask input of the Delta Keyer. So break that connection and reconnect the Polygon to the garbage mat input. Next, select your new Delta Keyer node, hit shift space on your keyboard and type mat in the search bar. Select the mat control tool and click add. Then connect the mat control output to the effect mask input of your prism blur node. This will restrict the prism blur effect to the area inside our invisible man. The prism blur effect is still a little strong, so we'll select our prism blur node. Then in the inspector, we'll bring our blur strength all the way down and tweak the aberration distance, strength, and position until we have a subtle RGB effect that we're happy with. And when we're all said and done, we can see that our subject is now invisible. No, you can't. But that's it for me. If you want to learn more about how to use the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve, check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.